Hi everyone, uh, Guinea Dad here. So it's been a while since we talked about education, guinea pig education related, but today we're going to cover four different ways to bond with guinea pigs. Some of you guys might have already seen our blog post, but we're going to make this into a video so more of you guys know how to bond with guinea pigs. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it. So the first step to getting close to your guinea pig is to spend a lot of time with them. Whether you're working or studying after school or work, just come to your guinea pig and then just interact with them. As long as you just sit down next to them, you know, like they will always be like most of their time in the pocket. But once they feel comfortable and that you're sitting next to them, they'll feel more safe with your presence. They'll start doing whatever they want. You see Jeremy over there? She's kind of now she feels safe that I'm kind of sitting and talking next to them. And then she'll do whatever she wants to do instead of just hiding or go back to pocket. The second tip that I want to share with everyone, very similar to the first one, but to lay down with them. So what I'm going to show you is what I do with my guinea pigs, with Shiro and Charmi, to get uh, closer to them. I have a guinea dead liner on the floor. So I'm going to lie down, I'm gonna put the blanket over me, and um, once they get feel safe enough, they're going to come up on my stomach and you know play around. So the third way to bond with your guinea pig is to give them veggies, but in a very special way, you gotta hand feed them. I'm going to prepare my vegetable and then I'll be hand feeding the vegetable. So today I prepared red bell pepper, red leaf lettuce, and tomatoes. So um, I always give them the bell pepper. It doesn't matter what color it is, it can be red, yellow, green. But I give them red because this is like the sweetest one out of all of them and they like this the most. Um, bell pepper is definitely good because it has a bunch of vitamin C more than most vegetables that guinea pigs can eat. And because guinea pigs not produce their own vitamin C, it's very important to give them veggies that has high vitamin C content. The green leaf lettuce, more for a variety. It has a lot of water content. Uh, guinea pigs somewhat prone to a urinary traction infection or urinary related like uh, kidney stones and whatnot. Giving them more moisture and water content in their diet is definitely helpful. But instead of red leaf lettuce, what you can also do is give them like cucumber and other vegetables with high water content. Usually try to avoid is something like parsley, spinach and whatnot or kale that has a high calcium content because that does give them a white residue in their urine which is a sign that they have too much calcium. Uh, tomatoes, uh, tomatoes. I'm, I'm gonna give two each but I'm not sure if they'll like it. They usually don't eat this a lot so we'll try. So the last way, the fourth way to get close to your guinea pig and bond with them is to talk to them a lot. Well, especially if you're a guy and they have relatively low tone voice or if you're a woman with lower tone voice, then it's usually better to talk to them in a high pitched sound like, you know, when I call them. Uh, I do that on purpose because they usually like the high pitched sound better. <laughs> I just call Shido so she's um, talk to them nicely they will be more friendly with you as well. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, we have a blog post on this and we've uh, posted this blog post a couple years ago and since then a lot of you guys left comment on the blog. So I'm going to read you some of the questions on it and then maybe I'll answer this question on this video. So the first question was, hey, how can I get my guinea pigs to not run away from me? You know, everything that I've told you, the four tips, those are very helpful. But uh, another thing is, if you're standing tall, they get more scared. So 
when you approach them, kind of lower yourself. So, you know, sit down. That's usually better than standing up and approaching them. The second, you have to think about the lighting too. So if the light is behind you and guinea pigs in front of you, then the shadow of yourself kind of goes over you. And then as soon as they feel that shadow coming over you, they also get scared more. So this is something that I found out. So that's why it's helpful to like lower your posture and also kind of don't have the lighting right behind you, lighting light source. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope I see you guys next time. Bye.